Good morning, and thank you for joining me for devotionals on the Saturday morning. I do hope that you have had a good week, that you're looking forward to a good rest of your weekend, and that you will take this time to think about your connection to God, your connection as a created being to uh, the creation God has given us as we look at today's lesson from the devotional for the beauty of the earth by the Reverend Dr. Leah Shade. Today's scripture reading is from Matthew 5. This is the beginning of the Sermon on the Mount. It says, when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. We know from our time exploring the Beatitudes uh, last year that the Beatitudes speak of an upside-down kingdom in which Things are not as we expect them to be. And in fact, it's the people who are the lowliest that God puts on top. As we consider the threats facing nature and our world, we can see that it's often those who are on the bottom who directly bear the brunt of the impact of things like climate change and pollution and etc. I remember living in Louisville, Kentucky. It was the poorer parts of town that there were the ones impacted by coal ash pollution. Those were the ones that had a problem, not the wealthier parts of town. And it's often those who have the smallest voices and have the hardest time being heard who are the ones who have pollution-producing plants put in their backyard and who are the last to receive benefits from policies that renew the earth. We ought to listen to those who are meek. They're the ones inheriting the earth even all around us today. They're the ones who see the impact. And if we truly want to live in God's kingdom, we would be wise to listen to their voices. Let's pray. God, lift up young leaders who advocate for your creation. Bless them with meekness and a fierce pursuit of righteousness. Empower them to show us the way. Amen. Thanks for joining me and have a blessed day.